ladies and gentlemen, fellow citizens across the physical and digital worlds, thank you for your time and attention to this presentation on hybrid tech and cross-dimensional thinking definitions. Hybrid tech means combining multiple tools, thank you Beth, to blend their strengths and balance their weaknesses relative to the needs at hand. The effective use of hybrid tech requires cross-dimensional thinking. Cross-dimensional thinking means shifting perspective again and again to try multiple tool blends to find those that best meet your use case. The guiding principle is that relevance trumps coolness. If it works, out, keep it. If it doesn't, make a note and move on. There are four key questions. One, what is the need being met? Two, what technologies are being blended? Three, how does cross-dimensional thinking come into play? Four, is it working? If you have a smartphone handy right now, I invite you to scan the QR code on my first slide for a link to the slides on this page, including my references. One, what is the need being met? Having references for later use. Two, what technologies are being blended? QR code, smartphone cam, Google Docs. Three, how does cross-dimensional thinking come into play? In a Verbella conference last year, the speaker asked us to scan the code on their screen to download their app for a live demo. I tried it and I was amazed, it worked. I looked for a QR code generator to make one for my own website. Please look at the diagram on my slide just below the QR code. This is another example of hybrid tech and cross-dimensional thinking. The image on the background is a 3D symbol thank you, Beth, symbolic model called sieves and sliders. Thank you, Frank. On the right, the beads slide on rods like an abacus, adjusting the sluice bars on the left so that some kind of an optimal blend can come through. The image in the foreground is a 2D business process model. Tools, needs, and perspectives flow into a blender box in the middle coming out at the right with, again, some kind of optimal blend. One, what is the need being met? trying to express a new concept visually to gain perspective. Two, what technologies are being blended? Symbolic modeling, second life, process modeling, Google Docs. Three, how does cross-dimensional thinking come into play? Thinking in 3D as well as 2D, in media as well as print. Four, is it working? I made that symbolic model a year ago. This week was the first time it reminded me of an abacus. It's still giving me new perspectives. Moving on to the next slide, please. What's your IPD? Interpupillary distance measures the distance between your eyes and is important for eyeglasses and even VR headsets. You can measure your IPD using a mirror and a ruler, or you can use a phone app, or you can ask your eye doctor, which way should you go? It depends on your use case. For new eyeglasses, go with the doctor. For a VR headset, go for the mirror for now. Next slide. Headsets in medicine. Here's a case where a surgeon has two technology options. The first is physical. 
The top left picture in this slide shows a pair of eyeglasses with glued on microscopes. This loop is used for delicate skin, intestinal, and cardiovascular surgery. Surgeons have these loops custom made for their personal IPD and for different zoom lengths. The picture just below shows a surgeon wearing a VR headset loop with automatic internal IPD setting and variable zoom cued by detecting the surgeon's eyes and eye commands. The headset's internal lenses and motors are shown in the pictures on the right. One, what is the need being met? Hands-free zooming in and out while performing surgery. Two, what are the technologies being blended, eye tracking, custom programming? Three, how does cross-dimensional thinking come into play? This work was done as a collaborative case study between Vario, who builds the headsets, and Virginia Tech, who provided the surgeons and programmers. Moving on to our next slide. What's your TLDR? The internet acronym for too long didn't read is TLDR and its earliest recorded use is the Urban Dictionary in 2003. The picture on the slide shows you or me when our focused attention span has been exceeded while working online. Estimates vary, but we can usually handle 10 to 20 minutes at a time. Yet even the most focused of us must break and refocus. What is the need being met? Getting and keeping your audience's attention. What technologies are being blended? Several options are listed here, such as move or get a snack. Our subject has chosen power nap. Three, how does cross-dimensional thinking come into play? What if the material presented were to include built-in refocusing breaks? Moving on to our next slide. Biosensors in e-learning. Biosensors transform biological changes into electrical signals. The top picture in this slide shows a user who has been voluntarily wired while watching and reading material online. What is the need being met? Optimal communication of material by flat screen. What are the technologies being blended? EEG. ECG, GSR, eye tracking, and facial coding. How does cross-dimensional thinking come into play? Live biological measures of cognitive, emotional, and physical engagement can be used to detect the presence or lack of sustained focused attention. Four, is it working? The bottom image summarizes Zoom presentation and ebook guidelines, including annotation, animation, and image choices to refocus and re engage attention for general and expert audiences. Moving on to our next slide. What's your MA? Music is a pleasing succession or combination of sounds. And music awareness is our sensitivity to rhythm and melody. Music awareness shows when you hum a song or clap to a beat. Do you have a favorite song that you hum to? Do you have a favorite beat that you tap on your desk or stamp your feet to? 3D in music. Many people think of composing as having only to do with music. Composing can mean any activity, putting things together in an arrangement pleasing to our senses in the physical world. This includes sounds, 
images, ideas, tastes, fragrances, and vibrations. Thank you, Frank. In the online digital world, we are locked into ears and eyes for now. I stream a music composing channel. How I work in the metaverse has come to influence how I compose in music. And how I compose in music has come to influence how I work in the metaverse. 3D in music is near and dear to my ears and eyes. Going to stand up now and do a floor demo. Walking over here to the first set of colored objects. Keyboard and drum kit. This is a color coded keyboard. When I click the shapes, they make the 12 tone scale. Thank you, and so does the front row audience. Please continue, I enjoy it. Now you can't hear it on the media stream, so front row, let me sing it for them for a minute. Da, 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 da. All right. And this is a color-coded drum kit. When I click these shapes, they make six percussion sounds. The kick, the snare, the tom, a hi-hat, the cymbal, and the cowbell. You can't hear it on the media stream, so oomph, oomph, oomph. Snap, snap, snap. Crash, crash, ting, ting, pong, pong. Well, you guys don't hear it. Good. Somebody's playing it because I'm hearing it. Okay, we're going back to the top of the slide, guys. <laughs> what is the need being met? Visualizing custom intervals for composing. What are the technologies being blended? Music notation, software, wave files, scripting language, and trims. How does cross-dimensional thinking come into play? Standard black and white keyboards are optimized for a seven note C major scale, the seven white keys. This does not work well for scales such as a seven note minor or a five note major. Nor does it tell you which are the root mode or other note functions from applied music theory. Thank you, Beth. But I had these all worked out on color diagrams on paper. I tried putting sticky tabs on my real world piano but they were awkward to use and I still hit notes that were not supposed to be in the scale. I thought of making 3D piano kits where I could color code the notes by function and hide the ones not used. I didn't need to play the notes fast, I just needed to explore noodling among the custom intervals to find pleasing combinations. Four. Is it working? I have now composed using eight different custom scales and feedback is positive. I've used these kits for audience demonstrations in Kitely and Second Life. Many people tell me I'm not musical. When I suggest clicking certain color combinations to see what they like, they get it. What is the need being met? communicating the joy of expressing beyond words in sound and image. What is the cross-dimensional thinking involved? Turning music theory color diagrams on paper into 3D paper kits. Thank you.